I first met Sonny Badu at the Fiesta Royal Hotel many years ago. He was in the company of Coach Kofi Ochiridako, and he gave me a CD, and uh, I listened to it. And that my favorite song on that CD is what I'm going to play for you to start. I have seen all of what is happening here in uh, Sonny Badu announces that he has uh, acquired some honorary degrees, and I, I think that to be fair to him, at all material times, he said honorary degrees. Sonny Bedu always said that. Okay. And uh, people have raised issues about the period within which the degrees were acquired, four months as it has been interpreted. Tonight, I have news for you that I think we have misunderstood the four-month situation, and I'm going to explain to you what I think. I've not spoken to Sonny Bedu at all. No, I haven't. But I've looked at it, and I'm... One thing Sonny Bedu says that strikes me is the culture of our people, which I've been very passionate about. But we also have to understand that academic work is academic work. It's a very important part of our society. And tonight, I salute the, the great academicians, Dr. Lloyd Amoa, Dr. Rasford Dampo, uh, Dr. Ikwe Anidoho, Dr. Isi Ansa. Uh, all of these people are contemporaries who have burned the midnight oil, sat down, written the thesis. Some of them, the thesis have been rejected, written it again. Some of them have written it twice to become the PhD. We salute you, and they are a very important part of the society. I always get worried when the Minister of Finance goes to Parliament with the budget, and research is not part of it. We are 4% of this for that, 4% of that. As a country, we don't invest in research. We don't invest in these academics. For them to do the research for us, America does that, the backbone of American society. And the backbone of American policy making is the research from the academics, even if you watch American news. Now, when I did a bit of training of uh, news uh, in, in the United States, so all the news in the United States comes from the news itself, the academic opinion, and the action. So if you watch CNN all the time, they have some professor they are talking to because American society believes in research. So those people who dedicate their lives to acquire a PhD, we have to congratulate them. And we have to distinguish them from those of us who are acquiring it on an honorary way. I will show you a lot about what it is. So I'll start from uh, Sonny Badu's case, the case against Sonny Badu. Now try and do some synthesis so that we can come to a level playing field, understand each other. We, we are not fighting about anything. We shouldn't be fighting about anything. We have to distinguish between apples and oranges. That's all we need to do. Let's start with what is my favorite Sonny Badu song, Baba. Baba, me your presence. Let it rain. Your rain, let it fall on me. We rain your presence, let it rain. Oh, your rain, let it fall on me. We rain your presence, let it rain. Oh, your way. Let it fall on me. We are in your presence. Let it rain. Oh, your way. Let it fall on me. Open the floodgates. In abundance and cause your rain to fall on me, Baba. Open the floodgates in abundance and cause your rain to fall on me. Sonny Bedou, uh, doing that good music there. Baba, uh, here, we are in your presence. Let it rain. That's a beautiful song. Really beautiful worship song. You play that around 4.30 a.m. in the morning. The Holy Spirit is going to descend upon you. And this has been Sonny Bedou's contribution. No doubt about that. Okay, let's get to the real issue. So what's the concern? Uh, Sonny Bedou up, um, published on the social media thanking God for obtaining degrees, honorary degrees, master's degree, bachelor's, and a PhD, something like that. Uh, in his publication, he said that he had achieved that in four months as well. 
Uh, and then there was backlash all over, especially from social media in Ghana. Uh, my, my good friend, Koji Sheldon, Manchester United meet. Koji Sheldon came up and, you know, uh, that went after Sonny Badu in a very harsh way. And Sonny Badu sort of responded to Koji Sheldon. And in his response, uh, Sonny Badu got emotional. We all get emotional. And then he was talking about how uh, some people are, were, were toddlers when he began his ministry. In fact, I didn't know that Sonny had been doing ministry for 28 years. Congratulations to him. That's, that's a great feat. 28 years of ministry, young man like that. That's a great feat. Okay. So he told us that one. And then, and then he also talked about the PhD and all of that. But then there was different kinds of reactions. Tonight, I want to sort of isolate the issues and give my own uh, analysis to it. For those of you who buy into it, let's buy into it. Those who disagree, tell me that you disagree on social media. Uh, good evening, Ghana official on Facebook. So, but before we do that, let's go and hear Sonny Badu, the latest. Uh, he granted an interview, I believe, to Joy TV, Prime or so. Uh, and then he sort of gave further and better particulars. This is what he said. An honorary doctorate, you have to also prove that you're worth it, you know. It's not. It, it, what I don't know how people do it elsewhere in Africa, but because before you're given an honorary doctorate, you have to also um, put things together and prove that you deserve it. It doesn't come that easy here in America. You, there's a test. There's a thesis. You have to go. You have to write a lot of things to prove that you're worth it. They don't just give it to you if the university is a credible university. So I don't know how it's done in Africa, okay? So, um, yeah, I had that. Then I knew that I, I needed to do something in pertaining my ministry. So I started working on my bachelor's in, um, in, in, in ministry and master's in Christian leadership. Now, there's something called field of experts. I, I didn't do bachelor's, or I'm not doing bachelor's in uh, in technology, or no, 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 no. Bachelor's in ministry and master's in Christian leadership. Okay. I've been doing ministry, and I said already, I'll say it again, been doing ministry 28 years, sir. And um, every experience, I remember when I was dealing with my professor in, in London, every little experience that I went through, uh, he said it's part of ministry. That is what you have to be, that is what ministry is. So when the opportunity came that I could actually um, do a crush course, okay, for my bachelor's and my... Um... So universities, they are universal. So I don't agree with Sonny Bedu that it is done a certain way in Europe and it's done a certain way in Africa. Uh, my pastor Sonny Bedu is done, it's the same. University is universal, it's the same. So there are... Uh, universities like University of Ghana, University of Science and Technology, University of Cape Coast, um, University of Central University College, Ashesi University, and all that. They are universities that are accredited by an accreditation board of sorts. So the accreditation board accredits the university to award degrees. So in fact, every degree really is an award. Whether you work for it or not, it's an award. So you see that the University of Ghana will say that we award a degree to this person. But that university that awards a degree is based on uh, four years of uh, undergraduate work, uh, sometimes one year or two years of a master's program work, and another three to four years for a PhD work. Those universities accredited are also able to give honorary degrees. Okay? Now, those universities give honorary degrees to people in the area where those people have done some work. That's an honorary PhD. The University of Ghana is an accredited university that can give honorary degrees. University of Science and Technology is an accredited university that can give honorary degrees. However, in doing so, those universities give the degree according to the work of the person. So here I am. I got, uh, I, I got three degrees, by the way. Three. One, two, three. Yes, three. I got two from University of Ghana, one from University of London. Three. Verifiable. Verifiable, please. It's verifiable. You can check. Three. One, two, three. Okay. So... Uh, based on what I've done as a news reporter for 20 years, the School of Communication Studies at the University of Ghana, under the auspices of the University of Ghana, can decide to award me an honorary degree, master's, PhD, whatever, for my work in journalism. Because they assume that for all the work I've done in journalism, interviewing Asedu Ketia, interviewing Rollins, interviewing Akufado, interviewing Kufo, and interviewing this and that, Azuma Nelson. I've done a lot of interviews. Uh, who else can I think about? Tell, tell me some, tell me some. Professor Mills interviewing John Mahama in the, in the Jubilee House and all that. Okay. For all of that, they give me a degree, PhD. Honorary. I should never compare that honorary PhD degree 
to the one that uh, Dr. H. S. Kanku did in communication. No, it's not comparable. H. S. Kanku is able to teach and impart that knowledge on students. I am not able to do that. But the university is recognizing the work I do. So that university cannot give, a university like science and technology cannot give me a degree, uh, an honorary degree in civil engineering. It doesn't work. Even though it's honorary, it must connect to some work that you have done. But it's an honorary degree. I can't use, go around use the name doctor, this doctor. No, 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 no. Where, whenever and wherever I want to make reference to it, I must preface it with honorary so that people know that I didn't work for it. I was recognized for it. That's two different things. Working for it and being recognized for it is two different things. And I like us to separate the two. It doesn't mean that we don't give honor to those that are recognized for it. We can give honor to them. But we have to recognize that the one that you are being recognized and given an award is not the same as, as the one that you work for. So the point that Sonny Buddy was making is that all of the degrees he's talking about is honorary. The other small matter, however, is that the institution that gave Sonny Badu their degrees, they are not accredited as an academic university. They are an institution that awards, um, recognizes awards in religious matters. So worship leader, Christian leader, and that kind of thing. So Sonny Badu is right. It, they will have to assess his work of 28 years as a, as a minister to give him that. That's fair. That's not an, that's not a, that, and first of all, the institution is not an academic institution. It's not Yale, it's not Harvard, it's not Princeton. It's not that. It is an institution that gives religious people. It can therefore not award me because I have never done any work in religion. The only work I've done in religion is attending all night here and there, uh, praying in tongues here and there. That's, that's not work that that institution will recognize. But the work that Sonny Bedou has done, the institution will recognize. So I think there's a bit of confusion in the Ghanaian society, which gave all that uproar. And I have to say that Mr. Bedou did not respond to it that well. He was quite disappointed with their response, and so he also responded in a certain way. Not, we, Sonny Bedou is our hero. Sonny Bedou is our hero, whichever way you look at it. A Ghanaian did, done this, that, that, that. When you put out Sonny Bedou's profile, he is a Ghanaian hero. And Sonny Bedou, we love you in Ghana. Please don't say that you don't live here. We want you to live here. We love you. Come and live here. We, we love you. We want you to come. We love you. We're, we have to understand what you are doing, but we love you. And for those of you who are unhappy, Sonny Bedou is a Ghanaian hero. No doubt about that. Okay. So this four months issue also became a big deal. And questions were asked that, how did he achieve a PhD in four months? Sonny Bedou didn't say that. He didn't say he achieved a PhD in four months. He didn't say that. He said that within a space of four months, he had received and be recognized for all of these awards. So from January to June. So it's just like Seth uh, Kwame Boatin, the indefatigable investigative journalist at Joy FM. In January, he received a GJ award. Ghana Journal Association says that he's an investigative journalist of the year. In the same January, International PR Organization from Holland gives him an award. In the same January, the Chartered Institute of Marketing Ghana gives him an award. In the same January, uh, West Africa Association of Journalists gives him an award. So in January, Seth Kwame Boateng has received four awards. That's what Sonny Badu meant. That within four months, he has received all of these awards. He didn't say that he used four months to achieve a PhD, which people were saying. I think that's very disappointing. He didn't say that. And anybody who responded to that said that, oh, how can he talk like that? How can he use four months to get a PhD? He didn't, he didn't say that. Sonny, Sonny, Sonny Badu didn't say that he achieved a PhD in four months. He didn't say that. So I think let's get that clear. The degrees Sonny Badu achieved are true. They are honorary. They were not awarded by an academic institution. They are awarded by a religious institution that awards degrees only in religion. Honorary degrees only in religion. Sonny Badu has been awarded a bachelor's. He's been awarded a master's. He's been awarded a PhD by that institution. Clap for him. They are, he has been recognized. He did not work for it. He talked about having show something. Yeah, that is true. But it is not the same as the work that uh, 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 Professor Ikwe Anidoho did, as the work that Bob Hinson did at Legon. It's not the same. It's not the same at all. But he, he showed something, and he was recognized for it. So Sonny Badu has been recognized for that. We should applaud him for that. He's been recognized for his work of 28 years as a minister. Let's, let's not make this a big issue, ladies and gentlemen. Let's not fight about it. You know, the guy is our hero. is our hero. But we also understand that what he's talking about is not the same as Ransford Jampo's own. No, it's not the same. Ransford Jampo did a PhD and work for it. I was in the same department with Ransford Jampo at Legon. You know, uh, I was a year his senior, I think. 
But so I know that he did a bachelor's, he did a master's, and he did a PhD. And he returned as a lecturer of the University of Political Science, a very popular lecturer like that. So what Ransford Jampo did and what Sonny Badu did is totally different. And it's a communication that I think has brought this problem. Could you tell them, calm down, Sonny Badu is our hero. You, could you tell them, you too, you are a hero, you know? So calm down, could you tell them, calm down. You are a hero, Sonny Badu is our hero. Heroes don't fight with each other. I think that the question about lions and frogs, maybe Sonny Badu could have said it better. Uh, but of course, he was emotional. And, uh, you know, so, so let's, let's, that's why I call this the last word. Let's calm down. There's, there's no problem with it. There's another category of award, and that's why I, I, I want you to laugh. That's why I'm bringing this. There's another category of award. So there's that award that's not a PhD or it's not a, a master's. But it's an award that has a title like a name of sorts, you know. There's one thing I didn't say. Oxford University. A lot of the Oxford University graduates who write a BA and an MA, you will be told that the MA, they didn't work for it. What Oxford University does is that when you do a, a degree there, a BA there, you go to work somewhere, and you do well at where you are working, the University of Oxford that you attended awards you with a master's degree. So usually when you see an Oxford University graduate writes his name, uh, Eli Kem Kunye here, and he writes BA Juris, and he writes LLM or something like that, the master's one was given to him by the university for the work that he has done since he left the university. So that's, that's, that's also there. That, that's there. So let's try and understand it. I was talking finally about that kind of award that is not um, a PhD or an under or a PhD or a master's, but it's an award that the university sets aside to specially give, and this is usually given by uh, accredited universities. So I'll show you something now. So the University of Ghana, where I'm an alumni, wants to recognize something, and they do it based on work that I have done. That, that, that's the thing. They do it based on some work that I've done. So let's look at it. I created this one for myself this, uh, this afternoon with uh, Rick Ransford, my graphic designer. He's going to put it on. We're going to read through what it says. I'm not going to let you in on what it says, but it's, uh, it's political. It's very interesting. Okay, it says, for winning last December's presidential election by a landslide. And that's, okay, so let's start from here. This is University of Ghana. This is it. This, this, this is my award. This is how it looks like. This is not a PhD or it's not, it's, it's an award, a special award given to graduates of the University of Ghana. Okay, open the book. Open the book. Let's show them how it works, you know. Yeah, there you go. It says, for winning last December's presidential elections by a landslide and thus ascending to the presidency of Ghana, the University of Ghana duly confers on you, Paul Adumotri, the award an alumni of whom the university is exceptionally proud. Clap for me. Put the trumpet behind it. Put the trumpet behind it and we end there. Put the trumpet.